You know, troubleshooting a 3D printer is something that I'm sure a lot of us wish we never had to encounter, but unfortunately, it becomes a reality, even on brand new printers. In my case, it was with the Bamboo Lab H2D. Not many miles on it at all, but I recently ran into a problem when I couldn't put filament through to the left extruder path. It was getting blocked as I tried to put the filament in and I didn't quite know what to do. So that's why I'm making this video. I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna tell you what I did to fix that issue. And maybe if you're having the same problem, you'll be able to use these steps to figure out what it is that you need to do, or maybe it can even prevent you from taking apart something that you might not even have to take apart. But keep in mind that there are different solutions and there are different causes to this particular problem. So although this worked for me, it might not work for you, but this is something that requires very little fiddling with really important parts. So right off the bat, let me tell you what the problem was. The problem was one of the PTFE tubes, in particular, the one that went to the left extruder path, had come loose from its position. When you first get the printer, one of the steps that you have to do is insert that PTFE tube and you have to push it all the way in until you can't push it in anymore. And what happens is that tube, it connects to the filament buffer. And the filament buffer is that part that has the yellow and orangish looking uh, springs in the back of the printer. And that's where the filament goes through and goes all the way around to those longer PTFE tubes. And then it goes into the respective um, extruder in the print head. But for some reason, the left extruder one had come out of place. Now, one way that I learned you can see what's happening if that's your problem is if you look to the left of the filament buffer, there's a little tiny sight window that looks like a little square. And if you look in there, you should be able to see the PTFE tube from that sight window. And if you don't see it from that sight window, then there's a chance that it's not connected where it should be. And if you're having trouble pushing the filament through, that may be the issue. But before I figured that out, I went on Reddit and I looked at the Bamboo Lab forums and I saw a lot of different posts from people having similar problems. And they mentioned something about some magnets being in the wrong order or something like that from the factory. And then they had to go in and, and remove those magnets and turn them around and do all kinds of like things like that. And fortunately, the solution that I had had nothing to do with those magnets. But what I tried to do initially is take the filament buffer off because I thought that maybe some filament had been stuck in the buffer. Maybe it broke off somewhere. So in order to take that off, there are these four screws on the back of the printer that really just holds it in place. You can use the same Allen key, the big Allen key that came with the printer to take those screws off. And when you do, it just sort of falls because it's plugged in but since it's no longer held by screws it just you know goes for itself so i took a look at that and i looked inside and i shook it around a little bit but there was no filament falling out of it now for you you might have some filament that broke off in there so it's a step that's worth looking into if you feel like you have to go that route but for me that wasn't a problem so i just connected it right back to where it was and then i just screwed everything back in and then when I tried to push the filament through again, I noticed that in one specific part of the casing, I can see it flexing as I'm trying to push that filament through. And I thought the only way that I'll be able to see what's going on here, I need to look behind this particular plastic piece that's covering it. And they call that the AP cover. And the AP cover is held in place by one screw. You can find that one screw in the front of the printer. So you got the printer's door and then you go immediately to the left and you might have to bend down in order to see it. But there's one screw that sort of sticks out further than the others. You take that off using the exact same Allen key that you can use to take off the filament buffer, the long one. And once you take that screw out, you can just peel it apart because it's just a little plastic piece that covers the electronics that runs across the left side of the machine. And it all comes off as one kind of long piece. And taking that off reveals the path that the PTFE tubes have to go through in order to reach the filament buffer. And that's when I saw that my left extruder's PTFE tube 
was not in the right spot. There are these guides that sort of hold the PTFE tube where it's supposed to go in space. And then as you continue to push it, it goes into the filament buffer. But in my case, for some reason, it had come loose. So it was hanging down like this. And just as an illustration with my fingers, what was happening is if this hole here is where the filament buffer is, my filament was literally doing this. No jokes, please. And that was the sound and the flexing that I was hearing because it was just constantly going down and just hitting basically like the side of the filament buffer. But as soon as I put that PTFE tube back into the guide we're supposed to be and push it into the filament buffer, that allowed me to pass the filament through and reach the extruder on the other end. And really it's a simple solution into this particular problem, but it's something that I wouldn't have known had I not taken off that AP cover and really got to look to see how this actually works. Now, as for how that tube got disconnected in the first place, I have absolutely no idea because I had been using the printer before with absolutely no problems. And I've changed filament from the left extruder before, but this time around, something went wrong and it came out of place. So if you run into that issue, either with your left or right extruder path being blocked, take a look at that site window first and make sure that your PTFE tubes are actually in there. You can try to do it like you did when you first got the printer and just take it out and try to push it all the way through again. But if for some reason the tube is sagging and it's curved and it's not quite going where it's supposed to go, then you might have to give it a little bit of assistance that may involve taking off that AP cover so that you can get to it with your hands and put it in the spot that it's supposed to go. And since it's just a regular PTFE tube, if you wanted to, you can opt for a longer PTFE tube just so that you can make sure that you've got definitely enough space for it to connect to that filament buffer and connect to the external spool holder to give your filament a nice clean PFE, PTFE tube path to the filament buffer. But that's up to you if you want to do that. But if you are having that issue, check out those particular steps and see if that solves the problem before you go around and take off springs and magnets and might cause bigger problems than what you already have. So that's going to do it for this video. And I hope that I don't have to do any more troubleshooting with it. But if I do and I find out a potential solution, then I'm going to make sure to make a video and share it with you just to make your life a little bit easier, because that's something that I would love for someone to do for me. So until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.